Hi everyone, I'm Marina from Fitness Blender and today we will be working through a total body restorative flow. So this is a little bit different than your traditional restorative practice. This is in fact a full body flow, but this practice will feel really good. It's not super intense. The intention behind it is to really open up stiff joints and to relax tense muscles. So I hope that you enjoy this practice and for it, you will need your yoga mat and optionally two yoga blocks. Um, while they are optional, I do highly recommend having them for added support in various postures that we're gonna take. So other than that, let's go ahead and meet on our mats to get started. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and begin in a Tadasana pose. So standing towards the front of your mat, feel four corners of the feet rooted into the ground. From here, taking a slight bend in the knees, allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears, Allow your toes to unclench, the fists to unclench as they, your palms rest by your sides. Go ahead and release the jaw. And then just feel the stack of shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles. You can take your feet about hips width distance apart just to widen your stance, give yourself a little bit more of a base to ground into. And then as you're ready, close the eyes, take a full inhale through the nose. Exhale, let something go through the mouth. Flutter the eyes open, see what you see. And let's begin our practice. So right arm will extend up long, coming to the left side of the head, gently tugging the head down towards the right shoulder. Feeling the stretch along the left side neck, you can bring the left fingertips out long to feel more of the stretch into the top of the left shoulder. Take a full breath in, full breath out. As you're ready, gently roll the head, the neck towards the left side shoulder. And then bring the left palm to the right side of the head, gently tugging it down. You can extend the right fingertips out long. And again, feeling that stretch all down the right side of the neck into the top of the right shoulder. Take a full breath in, full breath out. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead, rolling the chin towards the chest, all the way around, back to center. Inhale to reach up tall, your extended mountain. Exhale, roll the wrists inwards as we fold forward, generous bend in the knees, finding your ragdoll position. You can toe heel the feet out towards the edges of the mat, really creating some space for the lower back to release. And then pressing through all four corners of my feet, engaging the quads so that I can really open up to the hamstrings and I'm not tugging so much on my lower back area. From here, you can bring opposite hand, opposite elbow, or you can interlace the fingers at your low back, pressing the palms together and find a deeper shoulder rinse here. Again, you want those palms pressed together if you're taking this arm variation to protect the tops of the shoulders. And whatever arm variation you chose, just take a full breath in, full breath out. Allow the chest to meet the quads, neck and head are released. Take a full breath in, full breath out. As you're ready, full breath in, roll the wrists now outwards, stack vertebrae upon vertebrae, palms will roll up, extended mountain, and then exhale, palms roll in again, and we find our forward fold. Chest meets the knees. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. One more. Inhale, halfway lift, flat side. Exhale and fold. Inhale to roll the wrist inwards again. Rolling uh, the spine up, finding your extended mountain, reach up tall. Exhale, palms come through heart center, Samasiti. Inhale to reach up tall, extended mountain. Exhale, fold deep. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back, finding your high plank, lower bellies hugged in towards the spine. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, drop the knees towards the mat. You can pick 
the heels up towards the glutes. We're going to gently lower ourselves halfway, modified push up. Exhale, come up to your baby cobra. From here, go ahead, lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Keeping the palms by the upper ribs, shoelace side of the feet glued into the mat. We're going to inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, and lower. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, and lower. One last time, chest lifts. Gaze stays neutral. We're engaging the lower back muscles. Inhale, lift. Can you get one more rep off of the mat? Exhale, lower all the way down. Beautiful. Tucking the toes, go ahead and press your seat back towards your heels. Big toes come together, knees come out wide. Find your child's pose. Forehead will come to the mat. Maybe you tuck through the fingertips for a more active version of this posture. Again, stretching through the tops of the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, allow the seat to sink back even further towards the heels. On the inhale, we're going to press ourselves up, rolling through the upper spine, dropping the hips towards the mat, chest lifts, gaze lifts, find your swan. Exhale, press it back to child's pose. Inhale, round forward, swan pose. You can tuck the elbows so that the shoulders can drop away from the ears. And then exhale, press it back to child's. One more. Inhale to round through the spine, finding your swan pose. Exhale, press it back, child's pose. Inhale, go ahead, rock up, find your neutral tabletop position. Walk the knees under the hips, shoulders over the wrists. And from here, I'm going to kick stand my left foot out, my right ninth edge of the foot is going, or my right leg is going to extend out long, my right ninth edge of the foot is going to ground into the mat. Inhale, find your modified side plank. Exhale, expand through the right side body. Inhale, foot grounds, come up to your gate pulls using your oblique muscles. Exhale, reverse your modified warrior. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, land with control, dropping the right palm towards the mat. We're coming back into a neutral tabletop position. From here, I'm going to tuck the toes, hover the knees, finding my beast plank as I round through the upper spine. Inhale, find your cow. Exhale, round everything and find your cat. Again, inhale, find your cow in your beast plank. Exhale, round everything and find your cat. Go ahead, drop the knees again towards the mat. Neutral tabletop position. And then kickstanding that right leg out, left leg extends out long, knife edge of the foot rounds, grounds into the mat. Inhale, find your modified, step, modified side plank. Exhale, expand long through the left side body. Inhale, use your core, rise, gate pose. Exhale, reverse your modified warrior. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, land the right palm, land the left palm. Coming back through to a tabletop position, we're going to tuck the toes, hover the knees. Again, find your beast plank. Lower belly is hugged in towards the spine. Core is engaged. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round in. Inhale, to your cow. Exhale, to your cat. Awesome. From here, I'm going to extend the legs out long, pressing my seat back. Hips are lifted, we're finding our downward facing dog. And then just take a moment to pedal out through the backs of the legs. Feeling the opening of the hamstrings, opening of the lower back. You can even take your feet out wide, either hips width distance or to the edges of your mat. And you can lift the heels and then press them back down as you bend the knees, press the chest back towards the quads. Let it feel super good, like a release. And then here, go ahead and shake your head, yes, I'm awesome, I'm strong, I can't wait to continue this practice. And then shake your head no to any thoughts that aren't going to serve. Awesome, yogis. Okay, let's go ahead and get moving now. So, on the inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog, square through the hips. Exhale, plant the feet, or plant the foot between the palms, drop that back knee, untuck the toes. You can use your blocks here for some added support. We're going to inhale to our low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the palms on the block of the mat, shift the weight back, flexing the right foot, find your half splits. Inhale, 
Rock it forward, low crescent lunge. Exhale, lower belly engages the hip, the right quad, and then shift it back. Only folding as low as you can in your half splits. One more, inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, shift it back, half splits. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, both palms plant. I'm gonna tuck those back toes and I can keep the knee down or lifted, but my left hand's gonna stay planted. I'm gonna spin my right palm open on the inhale, finding your runner's lunge or modified runner's lunge with a twist. Exhale to square through the hips, settle in, feeling the stretch along the right side glutes. Inhale, twist a little bit deeper. Exhale, plant both palms, set the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, let the left palm plant on the center of the mat. Right leg extends out long, left knee is bent. Right palm twist, knee open with this forward, excuse me, forward fold with a twist. We're gonna feel the extension along the IT band in the right leg. Full inhale here, full exhale. One more breath, full inhale. Full exhale, we let the right palm plant. Inhale, halfway lift, you can use your blocks if you'd like. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back, high plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, drop the knees, lower the chest about halfway. Inhale, to your upward facing dog. Exhale, shift it back, down facing dog. Awesome. All right, taking this on the left side now. We're gonna inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog, squaring through the hips. Exhale, plant the left foot between the palms, drop the right knee down, untucking the toes. Inhale, rise your low crescent lunge. Exhale, using the blocks or planting the hands on the mat, shift it back, left foot is flexed, half splits. Inhale, to come forward, low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the palms, Shift it back, half splits. Inhale, low crescent lunge, last time. Exhale, shift it back, half splits. Inhale, again, low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant both palms onto the mat. Again, untucking the back toes. Either keep that knee down or lifted. Right palm stamps the mat. Inhale, left palm spins you open, finding your runner's lunge with a twist. And then next inhale, next exhale, plant the left palm, step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, walk the feet out if they're a little close together. Plant the right palm at the center of the mat, left arm, left arm spins you open. We're extending through the left leg, right knee is bent, feel this forward fold with the twist. Left IT band is stretching. Full breath in, full breath out. One more, full breath in, full breath out. Allow both palms to plant. So we're gonna inhale to our halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back, high plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward, drop the knees towards the mat. Heels can come up towards the glutes. Exhale, go ahead and lower halfway. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, everyone. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more open now through the backs of the legs, the low back, the neck, the head. And just taking a moment to catch our breaths, pedaling out through the backs of the legs or finding stillness is up to you. All right, as you're ready, inhale, both heels lift. Exhale, let's go and ground the heels. Continuing our practice, we're going to inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant the foot between the palms, spin that back heel down and rise, warrior one. Full inhale here. 
exhale, spin it open, warrior two. Inhale, extend through that front leg, reverse your triangle. Exhale, shift the hips back, arms come forward, find your triangle pose. You can use a block here. Full inhale to spin your chest open a little bit more. Bodies between two planes of glass. Exhale, settle in. Full inhale. Full exhale, gently begin to drop the left arm towards the blocks or the front of your mat. Set that back foot in just a little bit. We're squaring the hips towards the front of their mat. Inhale to find an up dog in the chest. Exhale, fold forward your pyramid pose. One full breath here. And then as you're ready, left palm will plant on the block or the floor, either on the inside or the outside of the foot if you have the space. But the right arm is going to spin open, revolving our pyramid. And this can be a really difficult stretch, especially if you have tight hamstrings, a tight IT band. So just play around with the placement of the left palm to see where your body has space. We ultimately want to really open up through the right side of this chest. So full inhale here. Full exhale. As you're ready, right palm will plant. We're going to bend slightly through the right knee. Sliding the left foot back, coming onto the ball of the foot. Inhale, rise tall, high crescent lunge. Exhale, fly the arms back, finding the up dog in the chest, your airplane pose. Inhale, to rise tall, one-legged mountain. Exhale, left ankle crosses the right quads, sinking into your figure four. We're going to take a full breath in here, feeling the stretch along the left side glutes. Full exhale. As you're ready, full inhale brings you back up tall, one legged mountain. Exhale, plant the left foot. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold deep. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back, high plank. Inhale, shift weight forward, drop the knees towards the mat. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Down the facing dog. Beautiful, everyone. I hope that felt really good. And just take a moment to notice the difference between the right side and the left side. Just notice if you feel a little bit more open, a little bit more stretched out on the right side than the left side feels. All right, let's go ahead and balance it out now. So inhale, left leg lifts three like a dog. Exhale, plant the foot between the palms. Spin that back heel down, rise from core, warrior one. Full inhale to lift. Exhale, spin it open, warrior two. Inhale, extend to that front leg, reverse your triangle. Exhale, hip shift back, finding your triangle pose. You can use the block if you'd like. Full inhale here. Full exhale, spin a little bit deeper. Inhale, go ahead, plant the right palm, stepping that back foot in, find an up dog in your chest. Exhale, fold forward, squaring the hips, pyramid pose. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Make sure that both quads are contracted, supporting your knees. And then as you're ready, again, finding an up dog in the chest, right palm plants to the mat or the block. We're going to spin open with the left arm. And again, you choose either on the planting the right palm on the inside of the left foot or the outside. We're coming to revolve pyramid. Take a full breath in, full breath out, full breath in, twist a little bit deeper. On your next exhale, go ahead and plant the left palm. And then from here, we're going to take a slight bend in that left leg. Right foot steps back just a little bit, coming onto the ball of the foot. Inhale, set up your foundation and rise from core, high crescent lunge. Exhale, fly the arms back, no momentum, lift off your airplane pose. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, right ankle crosses the left quads, settling into your figure four. Take a full breath here, feeling the right hip opening up, the right glutes stretching. And then on your next inhale, gently rise up tall, one-legged mountain. Exhale, set the foot down, and then go ahead and shake it all out. You guys are doing great. From here, inhale, reach tall. 
Exhale, fold deep. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back. We've got one more vinyasa. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right. So we've just got a couple of stretches left. We'll take them on the mat. So as you're ready, inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant the right foot on the outside of the right hand, dropping the left knee towards the mat, untucking the toes. We're finding our passive lizard lunge. From here, I'm just going to work to settle in to this right hip, stretching the left hip flexor. I can use the block for support if I want to. I can come down onto my elbows if I have the space. But wherever you choose to go, we're gonna also take a quad stretch. So bringing the left heel back towards the glutes, I can even walk my glutes back to meet my heel, finding a bind, and then gently allowing myself to um, come forward just a little bit, as far as this stretch will allow me to. This can feel really intense in the, um, the hip and the quads. So just breathe through the resistance. If you find that you can't regulate your breath, maybe you've gone too far, back off, big, um, back off just a little bit. Take a full breath here. Full breath out. As you're ready, gently release the left foot towards the mat, planting both palms. I'm gonna tuck the back toes, inhale, Lifting my right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, set the right foot down. Taking this on the other side, inhale. Left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant the left foot on the outside of the left palm. Right knee drops to the mat, untucking the toes, settling into your lizard lunge on this side. Again, elbows can be down if you have the space. You can always use the blocks for a little bit of support. And then once you feel good here, feeling that stretch along the right side hip flexor, you can go ahead and rotate this left arm back. I'm gonna bring my glutes back to meet my left heel, finding a bind, and then I'm gonna allow my hips to drop forward again. And I can adjust as I see fit, or as it feels best to me, depending on how much space I have in these right quads. And so breathing here, full exhale, Two more breaths. One more breath. Gently release your bind. Allow the left palm to plant. Inhale to kick the left leg back up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, let the left foot land. From here, I'm gonna drop all the way to my knees, keeping my seat lifted. I'm going to walk my palms out, booty shifts back, finding a puppy pose. From here, allow the chest to come to the mat. You can keep the forehead to the mat as well if that's a lot on your neck. But if you have a space, go ahead and allow everything to come to the mat. Opening up through the chest, the shoulders. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. One more full breath in. Full breath out. On your next inhale, gently lift the chest, walk the palms back, big toes come together, knees come up wide, shift the hips back towards the heels, child's pose. Just allow the forehead to rest gently on the mat. And from here, I'm gonna tuck my right arm underneath my left, coming onto this right shoulder. My right cheek touches the mat, feeling a nice shoulder stretch here in my child's pose. And then whenever you're ready, unthread the needle. We'll take this on the other side. Left arm threads through the right, coming down onto my left cheek. A slight pressure on my left shoulder. Full inhale here. Full exhale. 
Taking one more breath, inhale. Exhale. And then as you're ready, untucking or unthreading that left palm, coming back to center child's pose, inhale. Exhale. From here, I'm just gonna rock up into a tabletop position and then passing through to a seat. I'm gonna bring my legs around, grabbing a block or two, it's up to you. We're gonna come into a supported bridge pose. So planting the heels, reclining all the way back. I'm going to bring my heels close to my glutes and then tucking my tailbone, I'm lifting my pelvic floor towards the ceiling. And you can choose what feels best to you. I like the block on the highest setting, but if that's a lot on your lower back, you can always take it to a lower setting. And just set up your posture. Allow the chin to slightly tuck towards the chest, lengthening through the back of the neck. Palms stay grounded. Maybe you reach fingertips towards the heels if that feels good. And just take a full breath in. Full breath out. Settling into your posture. Feeling the hips lifted. Hip flexors slightly stretched. And then from here for our last posture, you can stay on your block and just lift the legs to get the um, hips over the heart, signaling to your body that um, we are winding down our practice. This is a waterfall pose. You can extend the legs out long. You can keep the knees bent if that feels good. If you don't like being on the block and lifting your legs, you can always remove the block, allowing the tailbone to drop to the mat, and then bringing peace fingers around big toes, lifting the heels up towards the sky, hips are open, tailbone is grounded, I'm coming into your happy baby. Whichever one feels best for you. And taking three breaths, either, either in waterfall or your happy baby. Just allow your eyes to close and allow your body to really settle in to this final posture. One more breath. Allow your legs to come together. Allow the heels to drop towards the mat. If you're on the block, you can go ahead and remove it. And then just allow the legs to come out long. Take a full body stretch, inhale. Exhale, let them go. Melting into the mat, bringing one palm to heart, one palm to belly. Tuning into your breath, taking up as much space as you'd like. Settling into your stillness, the quiet, your shavasana. And just allow yourself to be here, to be still. If your thoughts are racing or your mind is wandering, gently, lovingly call it back to presence by either tuning into your breath or anchoring the mind with a word, of, word or phrase of encouragement or love for yourself. Whenever you're ready, gently begin to bring some movement, bring some life back into the body. Hugging the knees towards the chest, maybe curling the head up to meet the knees. Say one kind, loving thing to yourself. And then either passing through a fetal position, or if you just want to rock right into a seat, we'll meet with our eyes closed in a tall, comfortable seat. If you'd like a long savasana, feel, savasana, please feel free to stay right where you are. And we'll close our practice with one cleansing breath. Inhaling through the nose. Hold at the top. 
Sip in a little bit more air. Exhale, let something go. What are the eyes open? See what you see. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope you enjoyed your practice and that your body feels really nice and open and relaxed. Thank you again for everything and for sharing your practices with me. Workout complete.